the positive work that have been done by the government of President Uhuru Kenyatta. Um, uh, I will never say that you are going to inherit the negative things. There are certain negative things that Uhuru himself has actually admitted. Uh, he said that, for example, the government loses close to two billion shillings daily into corruption. Um, and and um, he, he, of course, uh, felt very much uh, uh, unable to deal with it. The reason is because he's got um, a, a divided government. Uh, he's being undermined from within his own government by his, his uh, deputy, who is basically an opposition inside the government. And therefore, you know, any fight against corruption is politicized. If anybody is uh, investigated by investigative authorities and is uh, arrested or being charged, there's always the cry that, oh, trans is being targeted because he's my supporter. Trans is being targeted because he's my supporter. So they cannot really fight against this corruption internally because of internal contradictions within the Jubilee government itself. I do not have that kind of baggage myself. I'm coming in there with clean hands and uh, people know me. Remember when I was a prime minister, at the time when I actually suspended two ministers uh, because of investigations which had been carried out and pointed to those ministers. Uh, unfortunately, because of, uh, at that time, the internal uh, divisions, the government, they were saved by my partner at that time. But you say that nobody will be indispensable in the government. Uh, and if you want to really carry out a successful war against corruption, then you just begin yourself. If any member of your uh, your family is caught in this, you must ensure that action is taken against them. I give an example of uh, Kagame, whose own brother was arrested and imprisoned, and would go to visit his brother in prison, and just tell him, sorry, but this is where you belong. You know, if you take those kind of actions, <coughs> then people will begin to know that it is not business as usual. It must be business as usual to dealing with this uh, hydra-headed animal called corruption. Uh, and there will be a determination to do it. This is not only in the field of uh, public servants and so on. In the whole criminal justice system, investigative authorities themselves uh, sometimes need to be investigated. Prosecutorial authorities who refuse to prosecute once evidence has been compiled by those who are investigating, then you find that the directorate of criminal investigation, I mean, the uh, uh, pro prosecution, uh, refuse to actually prosecute, take them to court. The third is the end of it, the end, the judiciary. The people have been charged. Once they're, they're taken to court, you would have battered you, all these lawyers being in the court. Oh, these uh, people are basically innocent, innocent until proved guilty through a, a new process, and uh, they make it imp impossible uh, even for the, the, the judiciary to, to work. It was a corrupt judiciary. Uh, which they give uh, bail or bond, and then the cases are never uh, listed for hearing. Years on, we found cases which were taken to court uh, at the beginning of the life of this regime in 2018 have not been heard up to today. So a corrupt judiciary is also responsible for, for what we're doing. So it's not only the members of the public generally. And, but we will ensure that we do a cleaning exercise from the police officers to the uh, prosecution authorities and to the judiciary to ensure that our system works properly in the interest of our people.
Thank you. Okay. So, um, 